Hi, I'm Chuck Myers with Blue Water Yacht Sales, and today we're aboard a 68 convertible here at the Viking VIP event in Riviera Beach. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the boat, and we're going to start on the business end, which is the cockpit on these Vikings. Uh, as you'll see to my right, uh, we have a nice mezzanine. Uh, it provides great seating uh, with air conditioning overhead, a uh, great spot to watch the lines or relax after a long day of fishing or cruising. Uh, we do get both fishing and cruising customers on this boat. Uh, it has a great layout, which I'll show you for it. And it is offered in an enclosed bridge as well as the open bridge, which I'm gonna take you through. Uh, in this setup, the open bridge, obviously the emphasis is on sport fishing. Uh, this boat is fully rigged, full-size fighting chair. We're gonna have in-deck fish boxes, uh, kill box in the stern. And what you'll notice here is as I walk around, 176 square feet of cockpit space. Uh, so you really can have a crew uh, working multiple lines and no one is going to feel cramped in this cockpit. Directly underneath me is going to be a Seakeeper stabilizer. Uh, almost all of our Viking boats are going to have the Seakeeper. It is a game changer in terms of the comfort of the ride uh, for the crew and the captain. Uh, so certainly something you'll see all of our boats uh, equipped with or at least uh, built to have it added later. Um, little touches again like a freezer box here. We're gonna have, with a bait tray, we're gonna have an additional freezer box up on the bridge for carrying extra bait if you're traveling with this boat. Uh, ice chipper would feed into this box here. Um, tackle center with drawers. So all the accoutrements that you're gonna need uh, basically to equip this boat to do some serious tournament fishing. Uh, we'll go on inside in a minute, um, but why don't we go up to the bridge and uh, take a look at what we have up there. Coming up to the bridge, you're going to see a centerline helm, great visibility both forward and aft from here. Uh, three chairs across here for the companions and the captain, uh, and great sight lines down to the cockpit. Everything has been thought of for the captain's comfort. You're going to have a five gallon bucket in there that's a nice little trash receptacle. You have a cool drink box over on this side. So a beverage, if he needs a water, is always close at hand. Uh, and then you have additional electronics stored flush in the helm. Uh, you're gonna have that on the other side as well. Obviously large Garmin screen displays. And then there's even a drop down box for additional displays that would come from the hard top. Uh, tournament pod uh, station, um, and then wraparound seating that goes all the way forward here with a bench and then an additional freezer here for carrying extra bait or provisions. Nice little sink if you need to wash your hands up here. And then storage underneath both of these brows as well as all under the seats. This boat was built uh, obviously with the faux teak tow rail as you kind of pan out to the bow. Uh, you can see uh, the shape and lines of the boat. Uh, most people, whether they're fishing or cruising these boats, you know, they say they look fast standing still and they really do. Um, as far as the cruising customer, as I said, we do do an enclosed bridge boat um, that is popular with the cruising crowd. That's for the guy who's looking for a faster boat and uh, actually almost a better sea keeping boat than a traditional motor yacht. Um, with the different power packages on this boat, you can see cruise speeds from 35 to 37 knots and top speeds up to 45 knots. Uh, so again, for somebody looking to cruise that wants the speed and the sea keeping, it's another option for them. Uh, and we do see that customer as well as our tournament customers. We're gonna go down below and I'll show you the layout of the 68. One of my favorite layouts in the lineup. Uh, has a lot of big boat features, um, like a day head, island galley, and a little separation to more of a crew or mate's quarters. Uh, so we'll go down below and take a look. Coming on into the inside of the 68, uh, one of the things you're gonna see is the generous 19 foot, two inch beam to the boat. As I said, it has some big boat features uh, that you start getting into this size boat. Uh, you'll see like a day head as soon as you come in on deck, from deck. And then as you pan around through the salon and especially the galley, this has the island galley with the walk around on both sides, three bar stools there, large L-shaped settee, and then also a dinette to port a lot of space for uh, guys to crash on the way out to the grounds uh, and also also a lot of space to entertain 
uh, when you're not fishing the boat. Typical Viking fit and finish throughout the boat. Uh, you'll notice in the galley as you come around, uh, six refrigerator freezer drawers under counter. Uh, that island doesn't disrupt their profile and the sight lines from in the salon, a lot of natural light and good sight lines uh, for people riding inside. Double sink with the Miele ranged up. And then as you come forward of the galley, uh, you're going to come into a brow uh, walk in room. Uh, it's great for rod storage and tackle storage, also for provisioning for the longer trips. Uh, this boat is set up to travel. Uh, the standard fuel on the boat is going to be 2,000 gallons uh, or just over at 2,030. Uh, and there is an option to extend the range with a 2,400 gallon capacity to the boat. One of the other things on the 68 you notice as you're going down below is that they push the companionway off to the port side. Uh, what that does as you'll follow me down is create more of a division if you are going to carry a captain and crew on this boat uh, with a stateroom down there kind of separate from the guest staterooms and the master stateroom uh, for the crew. We'll go down there last because that's going to be our entryway also into the engine room. Uh, but you do have a washer and dryer off here to the starboard. Again, all Bosch components. They don't miss any touches where they can do storage, they will. So a little drop in storage off to the port side outboard. Same with this, more of just a linen closet. We'll also house your central vac. With this beam, you have a nice wide companionway. As you kind of come forward, we're going to get to a midship master. Um, I'll let you follow me in, and there's plenty of room because it really is almost to the full beam of the boat. Uh, with that companionway off to the side, uh, you get a lot of width into the stateroom. Walk around queen bed for the owner here. And then, of course, an ensuite head with stall shower. There is going to be a hanging locker behind you and then drop in storage, drawer storage, wherever we can find space. And it's all gonna be lit and lined. Notice the inlays on the woodwork too. We have several different uh, finishes that we can do on all of our boats, especially when you get up into this size range. Uh, there's a lot of customization that can uh, take place. Um, one of the things with Viking is they do almost everything in-house, uh, so it allows uh, a lot of control of quality to the boat, uh, and then also a lot of selections uh, to the owner's taste. All the berths do also lift up. We won't show it here today because we're going to keep the linen straight for the VIP event, uh, but you also do have under berth access uh, in both the Ford VIP and into this master stateroom. As we move forward, we're going to have two additional staterooms and two additional heads. You're going to have a port side bunk stateroom with, again, its own ensuite with stall. Coming forward, again, you're going to have a really nice, generous VIP stateroom uh, with its own ensuite. Again, this berth would lift up and have storage underneath. Uh, it has a push pin system. Uh, you also have drawer uh, storage underneath, hanging lockers, and then I'll kind of crack the door open there as well so you can pan into the head, entertainment center behind me. And again, you can see for bow stateroom, I just walked up to the side of the bed. A lot of times you get into these boats and you start losing that kind of ability, but a husband and wife, if they had to get up in the middle of the night, either could get off on their side of the bed without crawling over. As promised, we're going to go down to the kind of fourth stateroom or the crew on this boat. Again, we keep mentioning big boat feature. This 68 really does have that ability. And when you come down, you'll see certainly no one's been slided down here as well. It could be a guest spillover because it's fit and finishes just like every place else on the boat. Top notch does have a nice in suite head, bunk stateroom, its own locker. And then we'll go in, there is cockpit entrance uh, through the mezzanine seating to the engine room, but we'll just go in through here. This is a nice feature that a crew can come on into the engine room through their stateroom. 
And this one does have the brand new C32Bs. These are gonna be Cat's biggest engine, 2400 horsepower to them. You can kind of see with me standing in between them, they have some size to them, uh, but you have plenty of room here in the Viking engine room of the 68. Uh, sonar, still have room for that. Uh, water purification systems uh, and twin generators. Uh, you're gonna see how everything is white and finished out uh, down to the strainers that they're painted. Uh, any kinds of leaks or any signs of distress are easily identified in the Viking engine rooms. That's throughout the whole model line. Uh, big demisters, so it stays nice and dry in here without salt. And with these C32Bs, you're gonna have a cruise speed of about 37 knots, and this boat will top out at 45 knots. Uh, standard power is anywhere from man 1500s uh, to 2000s. We have an MTU option and a CAT 2000 option as well. Uh, but these are the, the biggest and fastest that we offer in this model and uh, certainly good looking engines. Uh, kind of coming back, you can see the headroom in the engine uh, room. Uh, there's no shortage there. Uh, flanked uh, to my starboard and my port with two generators, toolbox. Uh, we're going to have controls here uh, for the ice box and the uh, ice machine and the fish, uh, chilled fish boxes. Uh, and that would open up to our mezzanine. Uh, so we have cockpit access as well. I hope you enjoyed your tour aboard the 68 convertible today with me. I uh, would love to tell you about any of our Viking models. Uh, we can help you out here at Blue Water Yacht Sales, bluewateryachtsales.com. I'm Chuck Myers and thanks for joining me.